week we're going to be doing um, something a little bit different. We're going to be working on decor. I think I'm just going to angle that camera down a bit so you guys can see what I'm working on. There we go. That's probably a bit better. So I have a few questions that some of you guys left me on Instagram to answer. So we'll kind of go over that. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. I run Furniture Flip by Sarah. And I'm now going live every Sunday answering your questions and painting either furniture or home decor. So today we're going to be painting some vases. I have some bowls, things that I've collected um, before lockdown from different thrift stores that I've been wanting to kind of upcycle. So I have a few different techniques I'm going to start with. First, I'm going to start with baking powder. If you've seen this, it's kind of all over. Um, you mix your paint with some baking powder and then you get a nice textured finish. I have a couple different color options that I'm going to pick from. I think for the first one, it will go with more of like a cream color or like an off-white. I'm going to be using Fusion Goodness Natural Gonda. I'll just come and show you guys. You can see. And then I have my sister behind the camera. Hi, Serena. Hi. Um, who's going to be just giving me some questions that you guys asked, and then I can answer them for you. So to do this, I'm just going to pour some paint into a container. A decent amount, because we're going to be painting this. And then some baking powder. There's no real measurements to this. I'm just going to eyeball it and see if I need to add anything. Um, once I get the consistency, I'll come and show you guys. And if you're new to using Fusion Mineral Paint, it goes a long way, so you don't need a ton. Kind of show you guys the mixture. You can see that it's getting nice and chunky. I think I need a bit more powder. So we can start with some of the questions, uh, but don't be shy to uh, leave a question in the live chat and I will definitely answer it. Serena, do you want to start with one of the first questions? So, one of the first questions from Instagram is, uh, what do you look for when looking, or like finding items to flip? Um, so, one would definitely be like the style. I love mid-century. Um, if I can't find that, definitely more like antique pieces. Um, but like, then you want to look at the structure. So, if it looks good, you want to check the drawers. You want to make sure um, it's solid wood. Everything is functioning well. If it does need some repairs, you want to make sure. Um, sorry, I just think that this might be better with baking soda because this is like rising. <laughs> but we're going to try it out. So yeah, I would just check the structure of the piece, making sure everything's solid. I'm going to put a bit more in here just to make sure it's really chunky. Yeah, so you really want to make sure the quality of the piece is good. Um, you can always do small repairs, but making sure it's overall like sturdy and solid wood and it's good to be refinished. I would stay away from any MDF or fake wood. Um, a lot of like Ikea pieces are made like that so I would just kind of go for the more old antique style okay this is definitely rising I think you should need to use baking soda we might have to go get some but we'll see if this gives us the look we want I don't think it is Okay, my sister's gonna just run and grab some baking soda for us, but I'm gonna keep going. I can at least do the first coat like this, and then I can add more to it. And I'm painting this in kind of like crisscross just because I don't want it to be a perfect finish, perfectly smooth. I want it to kind of be chunky and have that texture. 
and I believe I thrifted this on a half price day so this big uh, jar here actually came in a basket and it was only I think five dollars so it's perfect for DIYing something like this at HomeSense painted or unpainted is going to run you anywhere from like 30 I would say to 50 dollars so I'm just gonna put this mixture I think to the side and just grab something else to put it in. I have these old lids that I'm going to be using. I'm going to try um, to do the baking soda now. I think that's going to work a lot better. It's going to give us more chunks rather than rising up the paint. Yeah. So I'm just going to kind of mix them together and get that chunky, yeah, you guys can, I don't know if you can see from there, but it's a lot thicker and chunkier and that's what we want. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. So if you are going to try this out, definitely use um, baking soda it works a lot better the powder is just rising up my paint it's doing its own thing over there but the soda is working out perfect Serena do we have um, another question yeah we have another question from Instagram um, it's how do you manage not burning out um, getting or getting tired from the physical work so if you follow along on Instagram, you know I actually hurt my back on Monday. Um, I am doing a lot better, but it's still uh, very sore and I need to rest more. So this is something I haven't been doing. Like I am go, go, go. I just keep going. Um, I like to keep busy and keep working on pieces, but it's taking a toll on my body. So this is something I need to work on myself, but just making sure you're taking time. Like for me um, in my back, I have a long torso, so I need to be stretching my back frequently, especially when lifting uh, furniture. So just incorporating that into your daily routine is going to make a huge difference in the long run. So I almost got this piece all covered. Hopefully we'll be able to do a second coat. We'll see how fast it dries. If not, um, I will definitely be posting all these pieces on my Instagram if you're wondering what they look like when they're done. Um, and if you watched last week's live, I actually finished that bench and it's posted and it's available. So if you head over to our Instagram at Furniture Flip by Sarah, you can check that out. Um, is there another question? Yeah, another question from Instagram is, have you ever used a sprayer? If so, what kind? Yes, um, it's actually up on the shelf up there. I believe it is a home right sprayer. Um, it's about $200, I would say, roughly, or $150 off of Amazon. And I didn't mind spraying. I just prefer to hand brush. Um, that's just kind of what I started with and kind of what I've stuck to. Um, but it, was, it stopped working. It's a lot to clean, so you really have to take care of it. Um, but yeah, I personally prefer to brush and I don't have like spray booths set up. Um, so maybe in the future when I am to move or get like a bigger space, I would definitely um, spray more pieces. It's a lot faster and more efficient if you're working on a lot of things, even if you're just um, using it to do like a base coat or prime, depending what primer you're using. So that has a pretty good coat on it for now. So I'm gonna move it over a bit. And then I'm gonna start on another vase. I think I might tape this one um, and kind of do like a two-tone effect. So I just have some painter's tape here. Tape that off. So 
let me know, do you guys think I should paint the bottom or the top of this one? Um, if you can leave a comment, let me know, and then I will decide from there. So I'll put that to the side for now, but let me know, should I paint the top or the bottom? I'm kind of getting paint all over it anyways, but let me know what you guys think. I'm going to move on to this one here. I actually, the bottom is already kind of like a textured look. I'll show you guys real quick. You can see it already has a super um, textured bottom, but the top is super smooth and I'm just not loving this little print. So I'm going to cover this up with the same textured finish. I'm wondering if I'm going to use this neutral brown. This is a Vonquin by Fusion Mineral Paint. And the same thing, I'm going to use the baking soda. Another way to do this, it just takes longer and is more time consuming. You can use like a dry deck spackle. Maybe I'll do this on one of the pieces and we'll let it sit for a bit. Um, this will give you a super textured finish as well. And do we have another question? We do. One second. Perfect. Um, if there's a certain color you guys want me to use, um, I might have it here or down in my paint cabinet. So just leave a comment and um, I can see if I can use it. Um, which sander do you use? I know we're not sanding today, but. Um, so for sanders, I have my Orbital Dewalt sander that you can pick up at like your local home hardware, Lowe's, um, maybe even Amazon. And then I've recently invested in a surf prep sander. I have the detailed sander. So it has different finishes on it um, for like different sanding. Really, you can do like a sponge sand. It has like if you're really if you're let's say this box here, you wanted to stain it. You're going to need to get all that finished off completely. So it has different sander sandpapers um, in order to get that off really quickly. And it's really good for getting in small grooves and nooks. So I think I would invest in one of their surf prep sanders orbital sanders um, in the future. But for now, I use a Dewalt and the detail sander. Okay, I think I'm going to love this one. I love this color already. Now I was going to do this one two tone, but I'm kind of thinking I want to just do the whole thing. We'll see. I'm going to start. I didn't take this one. So I'm trusting myself here to do an even finish. Hmm, I'm kind of thinking of doing the whole thing. We'll see. Yeah, we're going for it. Algonquin is such a pretty color. It's such a nice neutral. I know when you hear brown, like a lot of people don't think like brown would be a nice decor color because a lot of brown flooring and all that kind of stuff is like outdated. But this is such a pretty neutral brown. And it's definitely on the lighter side. And do we have another question? Um, another question that we have from Instagram is how do you deal with customers that might not be satisfied? Oh yeah, so we did um, also get this question last week. And again, if it's custom, you wanna make sure you're communicating, communicate, your communication, sorry, um, is good with your client. You wanna make sure you're on the same page design-wise, finish-wise, you wanna, um, meet their expectations, if not beat their expectations. So you want to just make sure you're both on the same page. If they're thinking one thing and you're thinking something else, or you know that can't happen, then there's going to be problems there. Um, all my pieces are final sale. If it is just an available item that somebody bought, uh, I make sure they know all the details beforehand and they can view it and look at it. But just really, you want to avoid that, but to deal with it, Let's say I painted something for a client and they weren't happy with the color. It really wasn't what they wanted. I will work with them um, to fix that and making sure they are happy. So you guys can see this one's already looking super cute. 
I think I'm going to get a bit more baking soda just to make sure it's getting super textured. Try to show you guys this up close without dropping it. Okay. You guys can kind of see this one is already looking good. You can still kind of see that uh, original design underneath, but with another coat and once it dries, it's going to completely cover it up. I made sure to bring a ton of brushes up here, that way I didn't uh, run out of any. So I'm going to go ahead and start using a different color, make some room over here. I think I'll do this one next. I really love the shape of this one and I think it originally was from HomeSense. Yeah, it was. It was originally uh, $12.99 at HomeSense and I picked it up at the thrift store for uh, $3.99. Okay, so um, we just had a, a message in the chat. They said they just got on late, so baking soda mixed with the paint? Yes, so if you're just joining, I started using baking powder and it made my paint like rise. I'll show you guys kind of, if you can see it, it's like bubbling and it's doing its own thing. So baking soda, is definitely the way to go. You could also use like a dry deck. I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually try that on this piece here and let it dry. Um, hopefully it dries in time so I can paint it and show you guys, but this will definitely give you a nice textured look. It just takes more time to dry. So for the purpose of this live, I was doing the baking soda, which I've done before and it definitely um, does look really good. So let's see. I'm gonna just put some dry decks on this one here. And see, like you just want to do it in chunks and because it's going on thick, that's why it takes a while to dry. So this one you might have to catch on Instagram later or maybe in next week's live, I can show you guys the results. I'll just do the front half for the purpose of this video. Let's see. I would also love to hear what you guys want to see on here um, for live videos, videos in general. I would love to have your input. So if you have any video ideas or suggestions, just leave them in the comments and I will definitely look into them. So you can kind of see like you just want to really wipe it all over the piece. I'll just add a bit more and then I'll show you guys up close. And we're just working right now out in the garage. I'm hoping to make this a little bit more aesthetic. Uh, we are currently working on an office makeover. So that should be complete hopefully by next weekend or the weekend after. It's moving kind of slow with everything being closed where we are or locked down. It's porch pickup and really only necessary travel. So it's kind of hard to get everything we need but I will be sharing that on YouTube as well and it over on Instagram. And if you're just joining in, um, our Instagram is Furniture Flip by Sarah and you can catch everything over there as well. If you wanna see more uh, furniture flips and a little bit more behind the scenes. So I have applied the dry decks all over the jug here. It looks pretty crazy right now. I'm gonna let that dry and hopefully um, we can paint it in this live video. Okay. So for color, I think I might just go ahead and mix what I have um, on this little pan here and see what we get. That way I'm using up everything I have. Let's see. 
kind of mix that for you guys up close. And then I'm just going to apply that all over. I might even put a bit more baking soda just to get it super textured. It's pulling a lot more of the darker color, but it looks pretty close to sand and the texture is pretty close to sand as well. Um, you could go ahead also when you're done and seal these pieces. You could use um, a wax, a polyurethane. They're not gonna dry in time for me to do that on this video, but again, um, I will share the results next Sunday. If you are new, we are going to be going live every Sunday. Um, and because I hurt my back, I didn't want to paint like a big piece of furniture. I wanted to just be able to sit and kind of chat with you guys. But next week we will be painting a piece of furniture. And if there's any pieces you would like us to paint live, definitely just leave a comment. And thank you guys so much for joining. Okay, so this one is coming together. Um, we have a question. What brand paint did you mix with the baking soda? So today I'm using Fusion Mineral Paint. Um, in my last live, I used Benjamin Moore, the advanced line um, for furniture. The reason why I'm not using that paint today is because it has a 16 hour cure time. Uh, this one is about a two hour cure time, but because what we're doing, I'm probably going to go ahead and just apply another coat. Um, but for furniture, you want to wait at least two hours. And if you haven't left a comment already, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Should I paint the top of this white and leave the bottom brown or do the opposite, vice versa? Uh, leave a comment down below and then I can start painting that. So uh. this one, sorry, is super textured. It's like almost peeling off at the top, but that's the look we want to go for. And once you seal it, uh, you would be good to go. Another, a question that we have from the chat is, what is your favorite brand of paint and mm -hmm. color? My favorite brand, right now I'm kind of torn between Fusion Mineral Paint and Benjamin Moore. Um, only for different things, like for doing smaller items and even pieces, Fusion Mineral Paint is great. Um, what I like though about Benjamin Moore is that it has the built-in top coat. You can get it in satin, sunny gloss, matte. Um, and you don't put anything over top of that. It does take longer to dry. It's thicker, but it levels out really good when you're finishing furniture. So let's say this was a nightstand, for example, you want to prime it, paint it, and then add like a poly top coat. And the reason you, when you prime, you want to use a shellac based primer because it's going to bleed when you put the poly on. Um, I haven't found a poly yet that doesn't bleed. So that's why I kind of like using the Benjamin Moore. It's just a few less steps, but it is more time consuming. If you're just starting out, I recommend Fusion Mineral Paint. I've been using it for over two years now and I love it. So I would definitely recommend uh, starting out with Fusion Mineral Paint. And if you haven't tried it yet, just try it out because it is a really nice paint. Okay. I think we're gonna move on. I might do this one green. I don't know, I love green. Um, I think I'm just gonna put it right on top of here. Get my baking soda and spray it over here. This color is Leechin by Fusion Mineral Paint. This is one of my favorite greens from them. You would say your favorite color is green? Yes. Paint, right? Sorry, I never answered that question. <laughs> My favorite color is definitely green, but I do love a good neutral, like the Algonquin or Goodness Ashwagandha. I very into the neutrals, but I do love green. 
Okay, so I'm just, I literally just poured my paint on here and poured my baking soda on and I'm just kind of mixing it in. Nothing crazy. Another question, ratio for the baking soda to paint. Okay, I have just been eyeballing it. I'll just come up again. So I just poured um, like I would say about a handful of each and I'm just kind of mixing them like this. Next time I pour it, I will show you guys, but I personally don't have a ratio. It just depends if you want it super chunky or light. You can kind of see like now it's not ch uh, chunky, it's more liquidy from the paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit more uh, soda. And I'm just getting all the clumps out. I have a lot of paint here for this. So I'll probably paint another piece this color just because if not, it's gonna get wasted. Here, I might as well show you guys this one up close so you guys can really see what I'm doing here. Just getting in all the nooks. And again, I picked up all these pieces at my local thrift store and it is just paint. If you ended up hating the color, you could repaint it. You could even, like you don't have to do a textured finish. This is just something I really like. Kind of gives it like that pottery look. I love some vintage pottery, but it can get pretty pricey. So this is a great way uh, to DIY it. almost got stuck in there because of my ring that was a close one that would have been bad do we have um, any comments for this jar here so far the bottom the bottom okay if that is the only one that's what we're gonna go with I was originally thinking the bottom as well, but I thought it would be fun to kind of see what you guys thought and I'd love to get you guys involved more. So this is your last chance. If you'd like the bottom or the top, yes. comment. Last call. So this one here is actually like a little light up one, um, but I think the batteries need to be changed. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this one green, even though it already is green. I don't want to see through it and I want it to be super textured. So another way um, to get it to be a bit more textured, instead of painting straight on, you can kind of dab the paint and you get a super textured look. And then you guys can see this one is super textured. So I think kind of dabbing the paint on really helps get that um, stone kind of look. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint the bottom of this piece. That was your guys' opinion. One of you said we should paint the bottom, so we're painting the bottom. And what color should we do? I'm thinking I'm gonna mix this green here with a bit of goodness ashwagandha. I'm just kind of going with it. We'll have a bit of green undertone. So let's see how this looks. So we need some more baking soda because it's not looking too textured. There we go. I think
think the green will actually suit this piece so it won't be too much of a drastic uh, change if we did like a white because it already is that brown kind of glass. Um, a little story behind this piece. So I picked this up at my local thrift store and an older man who was in line behind me was like, oh wow, like that, you know, is such an antique. It's like really valuable. Um, and I know there are vases or vases or jars with this type of glass that are antique and are super valuable. Um, but I kind of wanted to laugh because the bottom just says like President's Choice. I think this is from the Superstore originally. So nothing antique about it, but he was pretty set on it being super valuable and antique. So good thing he didn't buy it because he would be very disappointed. So I think this will only need one coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip the tape off and hope we get a nice clean line. Okay, that's pretty good if you guys can see that. I like it with some flowers in it. I do need to clean up some of the spots that I got paint on it from my fingers. Getting super messy. But it's gonna come right off. So there is the two-tone look. This would be super cute with some pompous in it, some greenery. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go back and do a second coat on this piece here. And we're probably getting close to wrapping up today's live. I'm gonna go ahead and use a different brush because that one is covered. I'm just gonna scoop out my powder paint and use this container. So we're going back to Goodness Ashwagandha. That is a tongue twister by Fusion. And I believe this line is their um, Lisa Marie line. So it, I believe it's from like a herb, the name, something like that, I'm not too sure. I really want this one to be super textured, so I'm gonna add quite a bit of baking soda. Okay. I'm gonna go back to this big one here. I'm gonna move some of this out of the way. I might even just prop it up on this box here. I don't mind if I get some paint on it. So this is not completely dry, but for the sake of the live video, we're gonna go crazy and do a second coat. And I actually have some pumpus that I picked off of the side of the road that I'm gonna put in this. Um, there are tons of places to buy it or just find it on the side of the road if you can. Um, I know like Michael's Canada has some and there's definitely some other like local smaller shops that carry it. And if you guys would like to leave any questions, um, you can always leave them in the live chat or you can follow us on Instagram and I leave question box on there. So you can uh, leave some questions throughout the week before we go live. Um, Serena, would you wanna look up like a little Q and A um, type of questions? I can just give you guys some facts about me and get to know you guys better. I would love to know where you guys are from. I am from Toronto, Canada, just north of the city, but I would love to know where everyone's from. So leave a comment down below and we can kind of share that. I'm just gonna go from the front here and see the bottom. 
That is probably giving some people anxiety. It looks like it's gonna fall off. I've been dying over here. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look too good, does it? Okay. It almost reminds me of like a paper mache balloon, if you've ever done that as a kid. Um, but this one is looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the bottom of this bowl. You guys can see it has some nice wood inside. I'm gonna go ahead and just paint the bottom. I know we're getting close to wrapping things up, but I just thought I'd um, answer a few like Q&A style questions um, and kind of chat with you guys. All right, first general Q&A question. Have you ever met someone famous? Mm, I don't think so, no. Okay. Um, if I have, I don't remember. If you could live anywhere, where would that be? Um, anywhere? Hmm. I haven't been to a ton of places yet, so I don't know for sure until I've gone there. But I, uh, my family on my mom's side is Portuguese, and I would love to live there even if it was just for like a couple months out of the year. Um, but I've been yet to go, but I've just heard amazing things. Um, and because my family is from there, I think I would love it. Favorite holiday, beach, mountain, or city? Favorite holiday? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, definitely somewhere more with a beach. Um, I'm definitely kind of over the, like, vacation for you to stay on a resort all inclusive for like a week i want to go and like actually travel and see uh different cultures like try new foods and not just be kind of stuck in one place but um i definitely like going somewhere warm um question from the chat which top coat do you use oh so i don't have any out right now but i do use a polyurethane um, that is in the satin finish and that's by Verathane. I think I have actually some stain that is the same brand. So if I can grab that for you guys. Yeah, so it is made by Verathane, but is, it is their, uh, poly satin, polyurethane. Um, that's what I love to use, but again, it will make things bleed. So you need to make sure your prep is done properly. Um, I also love, let's say it's just for smaller items or for like a little table, something that's not gonna get a ton of use. Um, I use wax, so Fusion sells wax in different colors. They even have scented wax, which is really nice. Okay. Do we have any other um, Q&A style questions? Maybe. I'm getting there. Okay. Um, I'm just adding more soda to this and probably a bit more paint. There we go. What's your favorite candle scent? Hmm. Um, nothing too sweet. I don't have like a specific name of a candle, but just nothing too sweet. A little bit more woodsy, I would say. Um, do you wear makeup every day? No, I do not. Um, I do this full time. I flip furniture full time. So, I mean, now everybody seems to be working from home, but even before this, I was working from home. So if I'm not going to be seeing any clients or doing any filming, I won't necessarily put makeup on. My skin doesn't react that great when I have it on. So I try to not wear it as much as I can. Favorite TV show? Mm, I have a Netflix show I'm watching right now. It's not like my favorite, um, but it's about eight seasons long. So I've been watching that a lot um, that I've been trying to rest this week with my back. And it's called Wentworth. Um, it's about a prison. I've been watching that. If you have any recommendations, leave them down below because I would love to hear what you guys are watching because uh, that show is coming to an end. Um, and then a question from the chat, what are your next big projects? So I have a few pieces I'm actually working on right now. I'm going to be getting busy with custom orders, but my goal this year is to get more marketplace items out. And by that, I mean like pieces that I've uh, collected and I am just doing my own vision with completely whatever I feel 
the piece needs rather than custom where it's what the client wants. So I'm trying to do that not only to stay more creative, but to have more available pieces for clients. My next big one, I'm working on a bar cart kind of buffet and I'm putting on some really cool legs. I'm really excited to share them with you guys because we are going to be selling them. So I'm super excited for that. We're going to be offering them for um, clients to buy or clients to put on their pieces. So I won't say anything else about them yet, but I'm super excited and that hopefully will be up on our website next month. Okay. Um, we're going to probably wrap up the live, but I wanted to show you guys this is still drying. So with the dry decks, once it turns white, it is completely dry. So I will definitely be keeping you guys updated on this on my Instagram account and probably share it next week in our live. So I think that's everything for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's live and we'll see you next Sunday at 8.30. Bye guys.